Hello and welcome to my channel Learn English with Arfan Nayak. Today in this video we will discuss when autumn came by Faiz Ahmed Faiz. This video will be in English version. If you want to watch the same poem in Urdu version, you can click here on the i button and you will find the link there. In this video we will discuss the poem and the text of the poem thoroughly. If you want to understand the poem thoroughly, you have to watch this video till end. In this video, in this video, we will talk about the poem line to line and the important things which comes in the poem, which is important for J.K. Bose twelfth class English. In this poem, the poet talks about the cruelty of autumn season. Here, Faiz and Faiz doesn't talk about the characteristics of the autumn, like ripening of the fruits, like yellowing of the leaves of the trees in autumn season. He doesn't talk about these things. He talks about the cruelty of the autumn season, how cruel the autumn season has been on the trees as well as on the birds equally. The poet talks about the cruelty and the harshness of the autumn season, how the autumn season leaves the birds nestless and homeless and the trees leaveless. And how the autumn season is being cruel on the trees as well as birds and the birds went away from their leaves, from their trees. And we will discuss this poem line to line, be with me till the end and watch and enjoy this video. Let's begin. This is the way that autumn came to the trees. Here in the very first line of the poem, the poet talks about how the autumn season comes to the trees in in how way in which way the autumn season comes to the trees he talks about uh, these things he is this is kind of introductory line of the poem and in the below he'll talk about how autumn season affects the trees as well as the birds it stripped them down to the skin left their ebony bodies naked the poet talks about how the autumn season comes and strip them down means how the autumn season removes the leaves of the trees from the trees and leaves the skin of the skin of the trees naked and when the leaves of the trees come down from the trees and fell down on the ground the trees look naked and their ebony body, ebony here means black, their black bodies are naked. It shook out their hearts, the yellow leaves. Here the poet talks about how the autumn season removes the leaves of the trees and the leaves come down on the ground and the body of the trees look naked, look without cover. And here we can focus on the personification used by the poet here and which is very important for the 12th class English. It stripped them down to the skin. Here the poet has used personification. Personification means when a non-living thing is represented as living thing. Means here this line is personification. And the next line is it shook out their hearts, the yellow leaves. Here the non-living thing has been presented as living things because the trees doesn't have a heart like human being. And here the poet talks about how the hearts of the trees shook. How shook means remove uh, trembling. How the hearts of the trees tremble when the leaves of the trees come down on the ground. In the next in the next stanza, the poet talks about scattered them over the ground anyone could trample them out of shape the poet talks about when the leaves come down when the leaves fell down on the ground when the leaves are removed from the trees and fell down on the ground anyone could come and trample on trample them on the ground and their shapes their the shape of the leaves become the different and the trees, the leaves of the trees uh, fell down on the ground and anyone could come and trample them from their feet and the shape of the tree, the shape of the leaves become shapeless. 
and the they are trampled on the ground the poet talks about undisturbed by a single moan of protest here the poet talks about how the how the trees how the leaves of the trees are trampled on the ground and how they they don't moan they don't protest against the person who tramples them here the personification is also used because protest who protests human being protest and here the non living thing the leaves in the leaves of the trees which have fallen on the ground and being trampled by the person who travel who walks there has been presented as a living thing here undisturbed by a single moan of protest it's also a personification used by the poet faz and was faz in this poem when autumn came in the next stanza the poet talks about the birds that herald dreams were exiled from their song the birds which used to live there on the leaves which used to build nests on the trees and have been exiled have been left homeless their dreams have been shattered and they have went away from there exiled means went away from there because the leaves are not on the trees they can't make the nests on the trees because the trees have become leafless and the poet focuses how the autumn season affects on the birds each voice torn out of its throat they dropped into the dust even before the hunter stung his bow here the poet talks about that we are deprived of the voice of the birds the birds which used to creep there which used to live there on the trees have been exiled and we don't we don't listen the voice of the birds which had been there the birds have been exiled because they are not able to build the nests on the trees they drop into the dust even before the hunter stung his bow means to say that the birds have left from there if they had been living there on the trees the the hunter would have succeeded in killing the birds that's why the birds have been exiled from there and it had the birds have exiled before the hunter could come before the hunter could kill the birds there in the next parag in the next stanza the poet talks about oh god of may have mercy bless these withered bodies with the passion of your resurrection make their dead veins flow with blood again here the poet prays to god he begs from the god he begs from god oh god give mercy be pathetic on the trees as well as on the birds have mercy on them bless them bless these withered bodies here means the bodies of the trees are naked they have become kind of leafless and the poet begs from the god he prays god that to give the to give the trees a kind of resurrection the poet begs from the god to give resurrection to the trees to give life again to the trees because the trees have become leafless and the birds went from there birds are not able to build their nest on the trees make their dead veins flow with blood again here the poet begs from the god he prays god to give life to the trees to give again the life resurrection to the trees so that the blood the blood come in the veins of the trees the blood will flow on the trees and the trees will grow and the leaves will come out from the trees and the birds will come back and live there here he talks about the veins of the veins of the trees means here is also a kind of personification used by the poet and he wants he wants to he wants from the god he wants from god to give life again to the trees so that the blood will circulate in the tree and the tree the leaves will come out from the trees when the leaves will come out from the trees and the birds will come back and will again live there will again be able to build nests on the trees here in the last in the last line give some tree the gift of green again 
let one bird sing here the poet says that here the poet begs from the god he prays god to give the life again to the trees if if god gives life to the trees if the leaves come out from the trees and the birds will come back and will nest there and will sing there here let one bird sing here means let the whole bird sing let the whole birds come back and become become a part of become a part of their tree and live there on the tree and make nests make homes on the tree so that they can sing there let one bird sing does it here mean only one bird will come and sing there here the poet means differently he means to say that when the when the leaves come out from the trees when the trees become life uh, lifeless when the leaves uh, come out from the trees and when the resurrection comes when the veins of veins of the blood the veins of the trees flow with the blood and the birds will come back they'll build nest there on the trees and will sing this is all about this poem if you want to watch the urdu version of this poem you have to click here you will be able to find the link there and you have to watch this in that video too this is only in english version because i have already uploaded the urdu version urdu or hindi version of the poem and you can find in my channel too if you want to watch the questions of the poem i have already uploaded you can check on my channel and you can watch the video too we have only remained of three <coughs> lessons we'll complete soon those three lessons okay thank you please subscribe the channel share the video with your friends thank you